Hello everyone and welcome to the first tutorial video where I'm going to walk you through the basics of how to use Keyword Revealer to do keyword research. So first, if you're not already on this screen, you're going to want to go up to the top left, click on the magnifying glass, Keyword Research, and this is where you can begin by typing in what's called your seed keyword. So here we're just going to imagine that we own a blog or a website where we sell men's shoes and we're just looking for some additional ideas of things to write about. So I'll type men's shoes in the search box and I'm going to leave search location and search language on the default all locations, but you can dial down and choose uh, a specific location or a language from these two boxes here. Okay, once this is done running, you'll see below we have 552 total keywords that, have, uh, that are closely related to men's shoes. And in the first column, we have what's called uh, monthly search volume or monthly searches. And this is a Google metric that is an average of how many searches are done each month for the keyword to the left. The next column is also a Google metric, and this is the estimated cost per click. So if you were to run ads in Google AdWords, this is an estimate of what you would pay per click. The next column is profit. This is a potential monthly earnings from ad clicks. If you were to um, you know, have a website where you ran, uh, where you had ads through AdSense, uh, this is just kind of a, um, a metric that we've put together to show you what your potential profit is. The next column over is uh, how many words are in the keyword. So when you look at the phrase, uh, we show you here how many individual words make up that phrase. And then the last column or second to last column is domain. And what this does is allow you to search for exact match domains for each of these keywords. As long as you're on only showing 10 results at a time, you click on the check domains button up top, and this will quickly scan through to see if there's a .com, .net, or .org keyword uh, for each of these terms in the list, you can see the green ones means that we have menshoesonline.net and menshoesonline.org. So if you didn't have a domain and you wanted to purchase one, this is a quick way to uh, find out what domains are available. Okay, next we're going to jump up to the filter button. If you click on the, the button here, you'll see this drop down. And here we can really dial down further into these 552 keywords. So maybe we only want to see keywords that have a monthly search volume of 5,000. So we just type 5,000 in the minimum. And let's say we want to find keywords that have, or search phrases that have the keyword leather in them. So here you can see now, this is filtered down automatically. All of these keywords have the word leather in them and a minimum monthly search volume of 5,000. So this is a quick way to really take this entire list and drill down to a smaller group of keywords that meet the criteria that you're looking for. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can further evaluate each of these keywords and find out how difficult it would be to rank each one. Hello and welcome to our second tutorial video where I'm going to show you how to take the keyword research that we did in the previous video and expand on it a little bit further. Most importantly, uncovering the difficulty score and then also uncovering some data behind the top 10 sites that are already ranking for each of these terms. So if you haven't watched the first video, we started by researching the term men's shoes and then we filtered the list of 552 keywords down to five keywords. And these terms are filtered down to only show us terms that have the word leather in them and that have a minimum monthly search volume of 5,000. So these are the terms that we're left with. I also ran our um, exact match domain checker by clicking the check domains button. And you can see here, if we didn't have a website already and we were looking to maybe build a new site and purchase a new domain, here is where you can see uh, what domains may already be taken and which ones exist. Um, so you've got a .net and a .org here. And 
you know, down here, these longer ones, men's casual leather shoes.com.net and org are also available. So in the next step here, I'm going to evaluate uh, one of these terms just to show you what this next screen looks like. Okay, great. Now, once this next screen loads, you'll see a lot of data displayed. And this is very specific to the keyword that we just evaluated leather shoes for men. Now, the first box here shows us on a scale of one to 100, what is the actual difficulty or the uh, competition of that term? One being the easiest and 100 being the most difficult. Um, so this is a 35. Now, the next box here, we've got keyword search trend. This is a metric that is pulled from Google, and it shows us the search trend for this term over uh, many years back going back to 2004 and uh, all the way up through today. So you can see there's an upward trend. This graph is also great for looking at seasonal trends. Uh, some products are searched more certain times of the year. So this graph will help us see that and then plan that content accordingly. Next, we've got a uh, social presence uh, chart here, which shows us a little bit of data on the top 10 sites that are already ranking uh, on the first page of Google. So you can see whether or not they have uh, Facebook comments, Facebook shares, tweets, uh, and then also uh, Pinterest. So you can turn these on and off individually. And this just helps us see uh, what the social presence looks like for each of these URLs. Next, we've got domain strength. So this is a Moz uh, metric, and this is the, the domain authority. So just to see what uh, sites are ranking and how, how much authority each of those sites has. The last box here helps us determine whether or not the keyword is present in the URL of these sites in the title tag, description, and then in the H1. So you can see that there's uh, plenty of opportunity here if we wrote a really good article and uh, implemented the keyword into uh, some of these areas of the site. And then down below, we've got the very granular data for these top 10 sites, showing us the exact URL, the page authority, domain authority, how many external links are pointing to this URL, the Moz rank, again, Pinterest shares, Facebook comments, Facebook shares, tweets, and then the uh, whether or not the keyword is in the URL, title, title tag, description, or the H1. So this is all of the data that we show for each keyword that you evaluate. If you wanna save this uh, page here, you can click the save button up above and then if you want to return back to the search results, you're just going to click on the search results button here. And that'll take us back to our uh, initial filtered list that we have. So now I'm just going to go through and evaluate the rest of these keywords so we can move on to the next step. Okay, so now we've gone and evaluated each of the keywords in our list. And you can see on the right side in this last column, we've got a difficulty score for all of these terms now. And this list is pretty short, but if you've got a longer list, you can sort uh, by highest to lowest. And you can see that all of these are sort of in the same range, uh, that moderate competition range. Uh, so what this helps us see is that if we wanted to write a blog article, really in-depth, informative uh, piece of content around the topic of leather shoes for men, we can incorporate all of these different terms throughout that article. And as long as we've got an existing site with uh, some pretty decent domain authority. It shouldn't be that challenging to uh, get ranking on the first page for that term. Now, if you want to save this project to access later on, you can come up and click Save Project right here, as I've already done. And then under each term, if you want to save all of these, you're just going to click the Save button that's shown up here at the top right. Now, to access the, the data later on, you're going to come up to Save Searches. And you can see down at the bottom, I've got men's shoes, and these are the three keywords that have been saved. If I wanna reload the project, I click the right arrow, and I come back to the, uh, the project as a whole, minus any filters that I've applied, and we can continue to do our research. Okay.
That concludes the rest of our keyword research tutorial. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us through the chat on the bottom right of any page of our website.